it's not like I think Hillary is a bad person. I mean, it's not like she's ever wore Crocs in public or anything. Wait, hold on a sec. Mickey, he died. How does a fish just die? I'm sorry. It happens though. Everyone dies. Even you, Wilson. Also- nope, I'm not listening to this. Nope, 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 no. <gasps> oh my god. So apparently, I'm gonna die. I guess I gotta figure that out now. This can't be happening. I'm not going to die. Impossible. I haven't even been here for 12 years yet. This is insane. She's wrong. What the hell? 73%? Hey assholes! Are you gonna cry when I die? Only 73% of people cry immediately when their dog dies. 73%! What? I don't know. I cried at a car commercial 20 minutes ago, so you don't have to worry about me. It wasn't your turn to speak. Mickey, of course we're gonna be depressed. You've been a huge part of our lives for over 10 years. Well, only 57% of people are depressed when their pets die. Mickey, you've been there for me when nobody else was. I'm going to be a wreck when you're gone. Literally nobody is speaking to you right now. (coughs) Privacy, please. Jeez, I told you he hates me. Mickey! Princess, how are you doing? Annoyed. These people left me outside for 26 minutes this morning, and now I'm sweaty and gross like a goddamn bulldog. Well, I'm dying, so I guess we're even. What? Well, I'm not actually dying, but it was brought to my attention that I don't have as much time left as I thought. Well, for starters, stop feeling bad about yourself. We all die. We aren't supposed to be here that long. If we were, we'd be able to pick up our own shit. No, I refuse to just lay down and accept this. Where are you going? Mickey! Mickey! You can't just run away from your problems. Life isn't a vacuum. What's the point? What am I even doing here? This sucks. What have I done with my life? I do nothing. I sleep. I eat. I lay down. I follow mom around. I lay down some more. I eat some more. And then I go back to sleep. And occasionally I shit. What a rotten existence. Oh shit, I'm not driving in this. Brody lives nearby. I don't want to die. Me either. But we have to. Well, I don't want to. I'm going to start eating healthy. You got 23 teeth pulled before Christmas. You know your diet is limited. Your teeth aren't in great shape either. You chew way too many water bottles. I should start exercising. It's not going to help. You're still going to die. Well, I can go to the vet more often. My sister Bella lived to be 14. She came so close to death so many times, we thought she would never go. What happened? She died. What? It's unavoidable. Like a flea meds in a piece of cheese. Ugh. So what happened when Bella died? I'm not sure. She was here. They all left with her. I was mad. Then they came home and she was in that box. I will give you every water bottle in my house for you to tell me I'm not going to end up like that. You don't have to. They have cemeteries and funerals and stuff. You should go check some out. Fine. Take me to the cemetery. What kind of cemetery? Well, since I'm a pet genius, I guess a pet cemetery. Oh, no, no, no. Keep driving. That's not right. That's just not right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You said pet cemetery. That was horrifying. 
I don't know where else to go. I have an idea. We'll go to a funeral home. I think planning your funeral will help you. Just trust me. Okay, fine. See, isn't this better? Oh yeah, this is more like it. Let's just take a look-see over here. Much better, much better. Eh, no, I'm not really interested in that. Yes, yes, yes. This is perfect. Help me take a look inside. This looks so comfortable, this is ideal. I feel a lot better about this now. I'm okay with this. I need to go finish my arrangements. This funeral isn't gonna plan itself. I feel great. When death comes, I'm gonna be ready. Eh, alright. That's a little bit much. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs>